What's up, YouTube? Um, I want to give you a review on um, this Condor pack that I bought, and I'm pretty excited to show you. It's pretty awesome, all right? This is a pack that I just take everywhere with me as far as like going out fishing or um, spending an extended period of time in the woods, maybe like, you know, a day or something, and uh, I'll get hungry and want to cook something up or something like that. It's not something that I take actually going camping with me to quote unquote survive because that's not what I'm all about, but I use this pack and I'm going to like send the links uh, to you like where I got the pack and then I made it the way that I wanted to make it. So um, let me get into this and I'm going to show you. I'm pretty excited about it. All right. So here it is. This is my little Condor pack. Um, I think I paid like 15 bucks for it. And uh, like I said, I, I, I got this idea from, um, what's his name? Uh, Ultimate Survival Tips with Dave. Awesome guy, a lot of good reviews for stuff. So let me just get into this and show you what I got. On the outside right here, got my cool little knife, fork, and spoon deal. You know, keep it super simple, you know, but uh, keep it on my pack so I have something to eat with. This side, have my lighter with my little trout on it, pretty cool. But uh, that's just to light up what I have um, in here. So I guess we can start off with this front little compartment here. Well, before I get into that, I also have um, my paracord here. I have it all wrapped around, and uh, this is more or less just a shoulder strap, so I can carry it on in case it's... The, the pack weighs about five pounds. It's not really heavy, but in case I wanted to only take this and go hiking and, you know, eat on the trail or whatever. So uh, let's get into this. All right, on this side right here, like I said, this is one of my favorite packs here. Up top, have this awesome little burner. You know, uh, I'm going to try to get links for everything that I have in here to show you. But I got this handy little burner. Just comes right out, flips open. Put this right on here. Screw this down, and then I have uh, my fuel for it right here. Now the one that it shows you on the Ultimate Survival is actually a four ounce can. This is um, this is an eight ounce can, but super tiny. Take with you anywhere. And uh, I love it. I mean, I, I took it out a couple times. Maybe I'll try to post a couple videos on like how everything works. But uh, right there, you know, got everything hooked up. Here's your little, uh, you know, your burner. Take your little lighter right here. Be out on a trail somewhere. Lights up pretty good. Pretty excited about that. So that's in the pack right here. And uh, got my Stanley cooker. Thought this was pretty cool too. Got my cooker. And I also got my DSI foldable cup here. This just, I got a scrubby for cleaning. This just fits right in here, nice and perfect. And then you can just take this, set it right on top, or you can do one of these. All right. And then uh, I'm going to set all this stuff aside. I'm just going through to show you what I have in my pack. This is what I'll carry. Say that I use something or cook something, I'll just replenish it after I'm done doing whatever I'm doing or in the woods or whatever. But I thought this is pretty cool. Uh, like I said, I have my cup here. I'm going to set that aside because I'm not going to use it. Here's the Stanley cooker. This thing's awesome. I love it. Take this and set it right, uh, right on your pack. Keep it so, you know, this got this little thing right here. Keep it so you don't get, like, super hot. Put it right on there. Lay it right up. But then inside my pack, like I said, this is what I just usually keep with me if I get hungry, if I'm going fishing or something, so I can cook something nice and easy um, and quick. But I'm not, I don't use this for camping or um, survival. 
it's just a tweaked out pack that I use if I go fishing or get hungry or something like that. So inside the cooker, it's pretty cool. It's got these little holes in it too. So if you want to make like Roman noodles or something like that, you can strain out the other water or the excess water and all that. Okay, so in this pack, I have some peanut butter. Peanut butter is always good. Um, trail mix. Mix your trail mix. This is um, granola. Uh, what is this? This is like apple, green apple granola or something like that. It's really good. Sometimes I'll mix like my peanut butter and granola. Standard issue, chicken ramen. Can't beat it. And we got some uh, Uncle Ben's rice here. This is just the rice. I have everything else. I'll show you here in a minute. But like I said, three packs. I mean, that'll last me all day long. I mean, obviously that's a lot of food for one day. But hey, who knows? I mean, I get hungry. What do you want? You know? But that's just in case, you know? I'm going to pack this stuff away again. I have it in here pretty tight. So, I mean, kind of got to finagle it around. I don't know if you can see that or not. But then I'll keep everything right in here like this. Put my peanut butter back in there. See, now I had everything packed in so perfect. I mean, sometimes it gets a little tight, but... Fits in perfect. Boom. Snap this lid. Yeah, just squeeze it. Snap it into place. Not going to go anywhere. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. Here's all the rest of that stuff. Like I said, I have the burner right there. It's already attached and all that. Okay, so that's it for that compartment. I mean, that's a lot of space, a lot of stuff, you know, that you can fit in here. And uh, what's great about this pack is it comes with the Molly straps right here. Uh, I can attach it to my uh, other book bag that I use. I'll try to show you that in another review, how you can attach it. I have a pretty cool book bag that I take that has like all my fishing gear and stuff like that in it. Alright, so then you go to this pack. Alright, I got my coffee for the morning. Coffee grounds. Standard issue coffee grounds. I don't know about you guys, but I like to have some coffee when I'm out. So I got this right here. And uh, we'll get into this in a minute. This is just a box that I keep a lot of stuff in. Um, I got some beef cubes, some beef bullion cubes. You never know, you could like have a pack of rice a or something and maybe like not have that much flavor. Put a beef cube in it, it's even better. Um, coffee filters, obviously for the coffee. And uh, let me show you what I have in this pack. Now I have my rice and my ramens and all that in my Stanley cooker here. And uh, I just decided to put all the spices and stuff like that. I mean obviously I can take water out with me but sometimes water's not good enough. You want something else. So here's my little like sugar packs and all that. Flavoring for my ramens, rice. I have Kool-Aid packs because like I said Sometimes people get sick of water, you know, want to do something else. Uh, then, thought this is pretty cool. I posted another video on um, small spices and uh, the vials that you can use for them. So check that out if you don't know what that is. But look how cool this is. I have all my spices lined up in here, which is awesome. For on the trail, um, I do a lot of cat fishing. Um, I'm not gonna tell you the bait that I use, but the bait that I use, say I, I'm not catching any fish, I could always cook it up and got my spices for whatever I need. Um, I have the simple spices in here, you know, salt, pepper, uh, Old Bay. I got some adobo, garlic, and this butter buds. Not a lot of people know about it, and they try to take butter out camping with them, whether it melts or it's just messy or whatever. This is just this is just powdered butter. Uh, they say uh, a teaspoon a teaspoon of butter buds is the equivalent as like a teaspoon of butter. I think that's what it is. Could be wrong on that. But anyways, pretty cool. You know what I mean? And it's super compact. That way I can keep everything in here. Here's the rest of my spices. Like I said, I'm going to put this stuff back in. 
But, um, yeah, I mean, this isn't something that I actually use to go, like, camping and survive. This is more or less, I, go, I do a lot of um, hiking with my son and stuff. You know how it is to have kids and to be out on the trail and stuff and, you know, them get hungry or something. So it's a good way for, you know, an emergency to be hungry or, hey, just be fishing and bored and you want to, you're hungry. You want to cook something. Makes a better experience if you ask me, you know, having food on the trail or whatever. So anyways... That was my pack. I'm going to start packing everything back up in here, but I love this Condor pack. Um, I'm going to try to do another tour tutorial here soon or just a review on um, another Condor pack that I'm going to get that i seen from um, the Ultimate Survival Tips. It's his like water filtration system. I'm going to get the same thing, and I'm just going to do my version of it and explain the way that I like to do things. So um, I'm going to put the links to the ultimate survival and try to put the links for all the gear that I have in here and um, check out check out the ultimate survival tips guy because um, his setup is a little bit different maybe you prefer his I just like mine because it's easy and convenient and um, maybe you could set up your pack somewhat like mine and uh, maybe it'll help so uh, just want to go over this awesome little bag and uh, see you outside